Okay, so another Salvation Army. I really am just like delaying getting any work done today. Over the weekend, I purchased a pallet of mixed media. So it's like DVDs and video games um, that I have to pick up, I think on Wednesday. So I'm kind of just like <laughs> not doing anything until, I don't want to have too much space taken up until then. This is one of the brands I look out for, King Cobra. These are probably about 15 years old, but for, what was that, 37? I don't know if that's, maybe there's a set somewhere around here. This is what 15 looks like. It looks like the whole, this bag, this Cali bag is a whole set for 40 bucks. So there's a whole bunch of Adams wedges. Um, so I, I'm gonna check it out, see what's all there. All right, so I was able to pick apart what I think it was supposed to be, which is a six, eight, nine gap wedge, pitching wedge and then two woods but there's only one two three four five six seven eight if you count the bag missing half of it so i guess maybe the bag is no the bag's part of the deal um i guess i'll go up there and say hey we got half will you <laughs> take half off because i can probably get probably 40 bucks plus shipping for these two and then these will sell individually be paying the butt but they'll get about 20 bucks a piece for those and then this bag probably just auction off up at liquid bidding in flint all right no bundles but i like that watch a lot right there and that one too here's what we ended up getting um there's one thing i want to show that i i think is really cool that is probably only worth like 30 bucks and that's only because it has the case and that's these vintage pistons pendants maybe those are earrings that's like a bracelet that's a necklace uh they're made with just like stainless steel it says david peters and a phone number on the back so i think they're officially licensed they're just like kind of cheap uh and the pins go for like 10 bucks a piece with that old pistons logo um this is the most expensive watch i, I bought a fossil blue I need to put a new battery in there for 10 bucks. Should go for about 30 bucks, I think. I don't know. I mostly bought to see like what the auction market is. Um, but also I saw that Salvation Army sells, they sell direct on the website now. It's like sastore.com, which I had never seen before. So, I mean, that's even more. I'm definitely gonna, when I get home or to my warehouse, I mean, I'm gonna do a video just talking about direct to consumer thrift stores because that's like the way of the future. Um, so I'll think about that while I'm driving, I guess. Okay, we're back at the warehouse. Here's how it looks right now. Uh, cleaned out a lot of this. Hopefully, well definitely, by the end of the day, these last two boxes, uh, and probably one or two of those on that pallet right there are gonna be back in my garage. Um, and we'll just work our way through all of this. That's the plan right now, is to work our way through the things on the ground uh, and once all the things in the ground are in boxes in my garage, go through and begin tearing down the shelves one by one and moving those shelves into my garage. And we're going to hit a point probably where <laughs> there's no more space in my garage. Uh, but I just want to clear out space here because like what we're doing tomorrow or Wednesday is this pallet spot right here is going to be all of the used DVDs um, and video games that I bought. It was only 93 or 91 bucks, really cheap. Uh, and that's definitely why, what I'll be doing today. I'm gonna go over and make a short video that I'll post today. And then you guys watching this, you're just gonna see the continuation of my week. So that's, we're, if you haven't noticed, this video you're watching right now is gonna be like a week in review as opposed to a daily vlog because I don't know, why not experiment with content? So um, see you guys tomorrow. Okay, so it's Tuesday. Just scheduled to pick up for the pallet tomorrow. We got all of our listings. I, I'll show you this. This is just how I'm keeping track of my daily listings. So we're hitting 25 um, eBay listings a day, which is awesome. And then last week I did about 100 Amazon listings, and I've got about... I forget how many, how many DVDs are in a small Home Depot box. 90 so i probably think i have 45 done so far probably should ship things out because tomorrow i have 21 things due to ship let's do that i'm glad i made this video because let's do that and i'll show you some of the things i sold over the past day or two here's our pick list um 
pretty much most of the things are in boxes now. And the ones that aren't are, that was an auction. Sports cards are just alphabetically in these, these right here, these are not organized yet, but that's how I store them. And uh, pretty much everything else is either like, I auctioned it off and it's on a shelf or they're, um, or they, they're in boxes. So the inventory is working as you know, I don't know why I thought it wouldn't. All right, we're gonna walk back and find the coolest thing that I sold. And you're gonna remember this from a thrift haul video in, I would say late February early March and that's a malachite compound or composite um, Mayan calendar and malachite is a green stone if you're familiar with it and what they do I'm pretty sure what they did here if you can tell is that's like the shavings from mining it or from making jewelry and they put it in resin I think doesn't really say obviously and then they um molded it mold, put the resin into a mold and you got this calendar sold for 75 bucks uh everything else here is pretty menial 30 bucks for this uh it's an autographed robert ludlam book he wrote the born series the born ultimatum that's his autograph right there signed first edition Share with Linda. Maybe that's what that says. Uh, I think that was 15 bucks plus shipping. Um, it was not like a great sales weekend for me. I've been putting a lot more effort into Amazon. And so I think on Monday, I only got paid like 390 bucks from eBay. I have, um, you know, daily payments or whatever the, the shortest amount you can have is. Uh, and that's down from what it usually is. But luckily, Amazon's way up. And Amazon is, I think that's going to be where I'm, you know, putting a lot more effort into over the next, over the next few weeks. Um, certainly with resale stuff. Not everything, but resale stuff. Here's another thing I do that I probably shouldn't admit to doing. Um, I'm always buying Disney DVDs to sell in lots. And I take these out and I cash them in. Disney Rewards. Uh, and what I've done so far is bought things to resell. But every once in a while, for like 30, you get 50 points for this. So for like 30,000 points, they're going to give, they give away a Disney vacation. And I'm going to be buying these at thrift stores for 50 points a pop, or 50 cents a pop, until I get 30,000. I mean, how many is that? That's, it's, it's thousands. Let's see. It's, um, 50 divided by 300 is six so it's 60 <laughs> 60 dvds when i buy 60 of these and they all cash in i'll have thirty thousand points no 600 <laughs> oh god <laughs> so when i get 600 of these i'm going to disney world and uh well i've already cashed these in so i don't feel bad about showing you the codes wednesday morning so hot out uh, we're going to Goo Goodwill to pick up um, this palette of DVDs that I bought. Paid about a hundred bucks for it. Got a really good deal. There's some video games in there, and I think that it's gonna. First of all, first of all, I, I'm not taking the palette of the Gaylord. I actually have to go there with a bunch of boxes, physically move the discs and the cases and everything out of the palette and the Gaylord uh, into boxes into the truck, and then go back to my warehouse. So that's kind of annoying, first off. Um, I think there's going to be FBA discs that I sell uh, that are going to be like sales rank below 100000 minimum profit $2. Then I will sell some uh, higher value discs individually on eBay. I will sell genre lots or storybook character like a bunch of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle DVDs or a bunch of Barbie DVDs in a lot. And then there's going to be, I'm assuming, I forget how many DVDs there are in a pallet. Usually, I think there's like 1,200 usually, I think, depending on how they're stacked. Uh, so I'm assuming we're probably going to have like four to 600 duds that are either going to be so damaged I can't sell them. Or they would take like like some, some scratches or like pinholes or cracks you can't fix. Uh, so it's, they're going to be so bad you can't fix them. Uh, or they're going to be just like titles that sell for $3.95 on eBay. Uh, and I'll lot those up 
and I'll auction them off probably. I'll use small Home Depot boxes. I think those can hold about 90 DVDs if I remember correctly. So we'll auction them off in lots of 90, make like a dime per DVD probably, um, which is probably like breaking even now that I think about it. But one of the biggest issues you have doing bulk buys like this, whether it's a single pallet or it's truckloads, is understanding how you can get rid of your duds. And with books, that was selling to a paper recycler. With DVDs, that's either donating them or auctioning them off. All right, so here it is. This is the, the pallet, and now there's the truck. My mom came down and helped me out. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> and then we gotta, we gotta load them here. No clue how many there are, but it's gonna be gonna be fun. It's just oh no, it's empty. Oh well, there's gotta be some winners. Is the update been about 20 minutes probably? You think 20 minutes? Yeah. Half done. Found some good ones so far. I'll go over them when I get back to my warehouse. Right, we're back at my warehouse and now I finally found a buyer for that <laughs> the whole pottery set. You guys remember that from February? I think I picked it up at a Goodwill. It's mine. It's now it's my mom's. It's mine, all oh mine. <laughs> so I we're love getting it. we're getting that loaded up and I guess let me know if you remember when I bought that. I was pretty excited about it, but it was just kind of kind of a bit much for me, although it definitely is cool. Super cool. Okay, today has been a long day and I haven't even packed the, I haven't done any resale work. I've just done, I mean, the pallet is resale work, but it's been a lot of cleaning out my warehouse. And I think what's gonna happen, I think, excuse me, is um, we're gonna clear all this stuff out. We're gonna list this over the next few weeks. And then we're just gonna start doing more and more get back to bulk DVD pallets. Because if I can do pickup, I can save on freight, and that's saving hundreds of dollars per pallet. I don't know what I'm going to make off this pallet. I mean, so when I say pallet, I, you saw me. I broke it down into boxes. It's all right here. And I have no clue what the count is. I'm going to do that right now. Um, <laughs> it's just been a long day. I, mean, it, I She came over initially to get a bunch of furniture and a ladder and just it kind of morphed into this whole uh, resale pickup thing. So thanks, mom. <laughs> Thank you if you're watching. What I'm supposed to do is ship out some orders. I have 10 orders to go out today. What I did instead was start scanning DVDs. First one I picked up was the mask right here. Extremely scratched uh, and sells for $4.99 used on Amazon. A dud. Second one, 16 Wishes, lowest price, sales rank 61,000, which is okay, should sell in, a, I don't know, a few weeks. 11, 16, Merchant Fulfilled, so probably 13 or 14 bucks um, FBA. And keep in mind, I paid like 100 bucks for this whole media palette, um, which is a lot lower. Usually these are gonna cost like five or 600 bucks if they've got video games in them. This one turned out to have a lot of cassettes, so that price makes more sense, I guess. I didn't know that. I'm still happy I bought it. Um, but already off the bat, boom, we're starting the profit train. I've gone through a few boxes and here's the basic setup. These are all the duds. I will auction these off, maybe on eBay. I'll probably try a few boxes on eBay to see if I can get more than 10 cents per DVD. But I think probably the best way to do this is uh, take it to a local auction where they're not paying shipping and I'll get about a quarter per DVD. Then I've got the Blu-rays, not worth selling. Same thing, I'm gonna try on eBay, probably end up selling locally. Uh, I've pulled out the television series that are uh, not worth selling. And what, what is worth selling? That's a good question. What's worth selling? Right now, I'm doing anything that I can make at least a dollar profit on. So all of these discs here, I make at least a dollar profit on and the sales rank is below 80,000. My number is 100,000, but I just haven't seen any DVDs between 80,000 and 100,000. They're all kind of lower than that. Uh, so maybe that's gonna be my new number. I don't know, just kind of going by feel on that one. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other media that I'm not even messing with yet, like this. What the heck is this? <laughs> Ford, 
the first pre-recorded cassette specially designed for your car stereo. Don't know what it is, but it, I mean, it looks interesting. So I'll look that up, see what that's worth. Some more cassettes that I pulled aside, uh, but I haven't looked them up yet. We've got computer games right here. I'll go through those later too. Uh, but I'm running out of space, so I think what I'm gonna do now is take these winners and just list them on Amazon. Put them into uh, Inventory Lab, print off the labels, and I've done that in videos, so you can go back and watch those if you want to. Just watch watch the last 10 or 15 or whatever. Watch the business vlog playlist and you'll see it. Um, and that's what we're gonna do, because I don't. what I don't wanna do is have a whole giant stack of things that I have to then go over and list and it's just, it's just a pain in the butt. So I'm thinking if I do smaller increments, it's gonna make this process a whole lot easier. Okay, so the week is over. It's Saturday. Got some work done around the house. Now back in the warehouse. And I have gone through every single DVD I bought from that pallet. There's still VHS tapes, CDs, and cassettes. Like 50 cassettes. Um, but I've gone through, I would estimate... 900 DVDs and about 400 of keepers and we're making about 250 profit per DVD the vast majority of those are like one to two dollar profits and there's a few big winners maybe like 25 big winners that are gonna make 10 or 15 bucks a piece um, and then with the CDs I have no clue I found one CD worth like 50 bucks that was pretty cool a Willie Nelson sealed CD from 2001 uh, there's some other stuff around here, like a Bob Dylan box set. There's a Talking Heads box set with a bunch of nudity, so I can't show it to you on the video. Uh, and a whole bunch of stuff that I think I'm just going to auction off. So this is the best way, I think, to do bulk DVDs. I used Amazon Seller app. I'm definitely going to get back on that, uh, like Jungle Scout or what was the one that I used to use? One of the apps that shows you the lowest prime price. I'm going to definitely get back on that. Um, the only... Uh, so here's what I did. I sorted by scratched and mint condition discs first. That was the first thing I did. Then all the mint condition discs, anything I can make at least a dollar profit on, I listed. Everything else went into these bins right here. I probably have about 200 right there. I think I'm going to do a garage sale where two bucks a piece, five for three only DVDs, and I'll do one big two-day sale at the end of summer. I think I'm going to do that. Uh, all the scratch discs that are not worth repairing, and barely any are worth repairing. I'm going to say that, too. Those are being auctioned off on eBay, and I'm going to get, like, five or ten bucks per couple, like, a hundred for a hundred discs, basically, which is not very good. All of the CDs that are not worth money, uh, the ones that are scratched, I'm going to auction those off at a local auction. They don't really sell on eBay at all. Um, and all of the remainders that don't go for my garage sale or, or whatever, I'm going to put those in giant media lots, take them up to Flint for liquid bidding, and I'm going to auction those off. We also have two more things, three more things, I guess, four more things, I guess, five more things, I guess, to talk about. Thing number one, what, uh, discs did I pull apart or pull aside? I pulled aside Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, and any movie with like one, two, or three in it to make sets. So there's Matrix, there's Terminator. Those are all pulled aside. I'm going to sell those in lots on eBay. I'll get about two or three bucks a disc. These are all right here um, TV series. I'm going to lot those by television show, a lot of Gilmore Girls, a lot of Seinfeld, and get like 10 bucks or 15 bucks per sale. These are all blockbuster cases. I'm going to take the discs out, sell the discs in like a... a, a bulk disc lot where you get like five bucks for a hundred it's not a good deal but then these blockbuster cases i'm gonna open one up and show you these go about you make about three bucks for ten of them profit it sells for like eight dollars i think and you get about three bucks profit on that so we're gonna do that as well uh we have blu-ray lots too don't forget those you're gonna auction off the blu-rays that are not worth more than a buck fifty profit because you get about a buck fifty profit on ebay auctions for blu-rays uh the cassettes we talk, was that, was that, let's see, that was one, two, three, four, what was the fifth thing I was talking Oh, Christian stuff. I also pull aside all of the Christian DVDs. Uh, so there's VeggieTales, we'll do VeggieTales together by themselves, and then all the Christian DVDs 
will go in their own lot because even though they're worth less than a dollar profit on Amazon, there's enough buyers there who will, they'll, they'll buy it. And that's how we're going to go through a pallet in basically three days by one person. Um, again, right now I have no employees. I might see if my brothers or my cousins might want to come by and work. Um, estimated profit, I would say, is $1,200. May, I mean, it really is. I, I use Inventory Lab, and I, you can make your supplier different per listing. So everything I'm selling on Amazon from this palette, both CDs, a few CDs, DVDs, uh, those are the only two things I'm selling out of the palette on Amazon FBA, I'll know they came from this palette. I'm calling it palette number one from the supplier uh, that I got this from. eBay tracking sales, I'm not going to really do that. It's going to be pretty minuscule. Um but not minuscule, it's gonna be a couple hundred bucks. But I just, I don't know how to track that in a way that's gonna be easy. Because if I know I'm making 10 times my money on Amazon, then I really don't need to know how much this all goes for, um, as long as it's like making me a couple hundred bucks. This is the kind of stuff I would do like wholesale lots if I ever were to do that, because it's much more labor intensive. We got probably 15 video games. Um, those will go on eBay as well. They're all pretty low value. There was nothing else really to talk about, I don't think. So that's like an average week for me, a full-time self-employed guy. A little bit of reselling, a little bit of private label, a little bit of <laughs> driving and picking up pallets and organizing pallets and everything. And, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Fun for me to do a week-long video. Hope you enjoyed watching. Give it a thumbs up if you're still here. Comment below something that you thought during the video. What, what can I do better? I'd like to know that. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys later.